game where you are going to find something in your purse that starts with the letter that I call out and you can get other you get a ticket for that and you can get tickets if you ask a somewhat relevant question and you get tickets if you do something funny and you get tickets if you just say love it anytime <laughs> basically we keep it fun and it, it helps everybody not get sleepy <laughs> okay so do you, let's practice say love it love, love it. it oh it's working <laughs> but you don't get tickets for that now we practice <laughs> Here's my pens and my tickets that I didn't have prepared. This will be a very realistic video, it's fine. <laughs> tickets, okay. You're the hostess, you give out the tickets. Okay. Okay. So the power is in Melissa's hands. It's no longer in my hands. You gotta butter her up if you want tickets. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, who here, raise your hand, if you, have you ever been to a Premier Designs style show? Oh, okay. Well, you guys are in for a treat. You already know that we're gonna have a lot of fun. You don't know, but we are gonna have a lot of fun. And I'm gonna show you a wide variety of jewelry, but we're doing this new thing, the style show, where I incorporate a little bit of style and fashion know-how into what a jewelry show used to be. So it's a little bit different because I feel like jewelry is step three, and a lot of people aren't quite ready for step three. I know a lot of people that don't really wear jewelry that much. So this is showing you step one and two, and giving you that know-how and then you can move on to step three as well okay so let's get started with the first letter in the purse game so grab your purse and you're gonna pull out something that starts with the letter w wallet wallet <laughs> you got it <laughs> so it can be the first three people or the first one person depending on the size group okay so w stands for welcome thank you guys for coming we're gonna have a lot of fun today, but I wanna start by getting real, okay? I've got questions. Who here feels like your life is super busy? Yes. <laughs> super busy. Um, do you feel like um, sometimes you have so much on your to-do list that you put yourself last on your own to-do list? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. That's a woman thing, that just, that's what we do. <laughs> so tonight, you get to put yourself first on your list. Let me show you this. This is my love it list. We're gonna pass these out and you get to put yourself first on your own list. Your name is right on the top. <laughs> so take one of those and pass it around, put your name on it. And I've got pens for you right in here. There you go. And the love it list, let me show you the way that we use this. And I think it's important to know is this is not an order form. This is totally just a place for you to take notes. I'm going to be sharing so much information that you're probably going to want some notes to take home with you. And I'm going to share names of accessories that you don't want to have to spend an hour looking through the catalog later. So you can just write things down here. Typically what people do is they'll fill the whole thing in and then just pick a few items to get tonight and then save the rest for later or give it to your significant other for a gift list and my info's right on the bottom and he can contact me and get you something that you actually want for Christmas versus something he thinks you might want, like a vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so use this freely. It's yours to take home today. And I've got a couple more questions. Do you ever feel like maybe you don't get quite enough time with your friends? Well, oh yes. Mm, that's one of the things that we're accomplishing tonight because we scheduled it. It's actually time with friends. It's girl time. And women thrive on girl time and laughter. It's just the way that we're built with that need for community and with the way technology's moving and so much more screen time friendships instead of real time friendships. It's good to schedule things like this. So thank you, Melissa, for scheduling something like this. Let's give her a round of applause. Yay! <laughs> All right, well, thanks for doing that. And next question that has to do with style and fashion. Um, do you ever feel like you've got a closet full of clothes, but you're not super sure how to put them all together and you don't feel like you've figured out the system? Mm -hmm. Some people say like, oh, I just don't have anything to wear, even though you've got 300 things in front of you, right? Yeah, well, statistics show that women wear 20% of our wardrobe 80% of the time. That sounds about right, huh? Yes. <laughs> I know, it's kind of sad. 
and they also say that women spend about a thousand dollars a year on new clothes Jeez, I know well think about it maybe a hundred bucks a month 200 every other month it adds up we keep getting new clothes but we continue to not feel put together so that's part of what my job is and I'm going to tell you more about that um, who here feels a little bit unsure about fashion and keeping up with trends I know we're busy ladies we've got we've lost track and who has time for in style magazine no. no magazines we don't have time for that and also when you look at an in style magazine say you're in the dentist office or something it's not wearable the stuff on the catwalk is like what never right so Premier Designs is amazing. They have done all this fashion research for us. They go to the festivals and the big fashion shows in Europe and they bring it back and they translate it for us as regular everyday women, how to take those trends and make them wearable everyday fashion. So people looking at you are like, oh, she looks really cute. And you feel confident and cute as well. So that is what they do for us. And then my job is to bring it to you and share it. Um, let's go on. Watch this. Have no fear, your stylist is here. <laughs> That's me. So my job is to help with those kind of issues, like not wearing everything in your closet or not feeling sure about fashion and trends, those kind of things. And I really want to make tonight valuable for you because busy women, it's hard to take a night out for something like this and I want it to be valuable. So I'm going to show you how you can save money by upcycling and recycling and updating what you already have in your closet, okay? I'm gonna give you the simple three-step style recipe that changed my life, and it's so simple and easy. I don't know how I didn't just figure it out myself. <laughs> and I'm gonna demonstrate some simple 30-second accessory solutions that'll have you going from plain to polished in 30 seconds. And it makes getting dressed super easy and fun again. And to top it all off, we get to relax and actually have some girl time. So enjoy that. Enjoy the laughter and the fun. Ready for the next letter? Mm -hmm. Okay, the next letter is S. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Sunscreen. Sanitizer. <laughs> Sanitary napkin. Yes, that happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the S stands for style, but... In certain groups, sometimes it also stands for strength. <clears throat> the, I'm just in my jewelry, don't worry. <laughs> so women are visual learners and I like to show the visual example of when you are not doing the style recipe that I'm about to share with you. So let me show you. First, I wanna put you guys at ease and let you know that keeping up with fashion and trends and feeling stylish and looking stylish does not mean that you need to go buy a bunch of new stuff. And that's what most people think. To stay up with trends, you have to go buy new things every season and it sounds really expensive. And I have a whole new perspective to share with you on that. It's not gonna be super expensive and crazy. Okay. So, did it make a difference? Yeah. Definitely. Don't be mean. <laughs> <laughs> I still look okay. <laughs> I know I look fine. I could go to work like this. I could go shopping. Nobody would go like, oh, where's her accessories? <laughs> you know, that's it's fine. This is okay. However, Ralph Lauren and his group of fashion experts did some studies and they came up with this three-step style recipe that if you follow it, research has shown that people will perceive you as more organized and more put together and competent at what you do. Mm. Do you love it? I love, love it. it. <laughs> so let me show you. Are you ready for the three-step style recipe that changed my life? Yes. yes. Bing. <laughs> Look at this. So you can take a picture if you want with your phone. Style equals a basic foundation, an accent item or a fashion item, and accessories. So I'm gonna walk you through it to, to show you step one, step two, step three. And when you put it all together is when you see that lady walking past and you're like, oh, she looks so cute. It's because she did this. That's the missing piece that I didn't know about before. And some of you might be doing it and not even knowing it. So you'll be like, oh, I'm awesome. <laughs> and some of you might be doing two of these things and realize, oh, I'm missing that other piece. 
And as soon as you add in the other piece, that's what that's what'll change your life. <laughs> it's a small way, but it's also a big way. For me, I was doing this and this, and I was missing the accent item, and I didn't even know. And now that I've added it in every morning when I leave the house in my crazy busy morning trying to get the kids to school, people are giving me compliments like, you're such a hot mom, like why are you looking so good? I'm like, mm, three step style recipe. <laughs> so let me show you, so the basic foundation. So that is just kind of solids. All style starts with solid foundation. So I have black on black today. I could stand up for you. Black on black, it doesn't have to be black on black. Who's got a white top? White top, who's got a gray top? Okay, blue. Basically any color, if it's solid. It could be a t-shirt, it could be a blouse, solid on top and neutral bottom. So like jeans or leggings and any solid color basically. Okay, you got those things? Yeah. Yes, I know you do. Everybody has this stuff. So that's your basic so foundation. Where prints? Uh, well, when you wear prints, that could be your accent item. Oh, so make okay. sure, try and get a solid foundation. Okay. And then you can add on your your print or your accent item. Okay. So we're gonna get into that. Okay. So that is number one. Then the accent item. This is where the piece that I was missing and that I get all excited, so bear with me. Um, the accent item or the fashion piece is where you bring in a little bit of style. Okay, and then the personality is what comes in with the accessories. So let me show you this. So the style can be from the top 10 trends for the season, and chances are you have them from last fall. So you don't have to buy new things every fall. Typically the same colors are on trend each season of the year, like spring is black and whites and, and pops of color. Fall is usually cranberries, brown, mustard, orange, that type of fall colors. So one of the things on here is a cardigan or a tunic length cardigan, kind of a longer one. So some of you have those at home. You're wearing one right now. Very cute. So you've got your foundation and then you put on your cardigan. It looks really nice. And then up here is a military style jacket. I've got one I could show you real quick. Let me show you the difference. So military style, it basically just means army green. And I got this one at Ross for $17.99. I don't ever like to spend more than $20 on clothes, it feels like. But, so you add that. And you can see immediately that vertical line in your silhouette slims you. It makes you look more narrow and it brings up the, the fashion and that style, the cuteness factor. Factor. Okay, so you can throw that on. What else is on this list? So you don't have to have all 10 of these things, but if you've got one or two, that could be your accent item. A printed scarf. Lots of people have printed scarves and that's an easy thing to get if you don't already have it. I think Walmart has great deals on printed scarves. And you put on a scarf, it's gonna make a huge difference in that three-step recipe. Booties, you got booties, like the short kind of boots, those are really on trend right now. And flip to the other side. There's fringe, I'm gonna pass this around so you can see it closer and you can take a picture if you want. There's some fringe on these boots and you can put fringe on your cardigan if you have that, but don't put it on there, that's too much work. <laughs> but buy something with fringe or if you already have fringe on your purse, that can be your accent item. Um, boho. So the trend of boho just basically means kind of flowy shirt, flowy blouse, a little bit of lace or some floral detail, kind of vintage feel. That's what boho is. It's, it's um, from the word bohemian. And boyfriend jeans. This one you got to be a little bit careful with because if you just wear boyfriend jeans with sneakers and a t-shirt, you're going to just not look cute. But if you wear boyfriend jeans with cute shoes and a cute top and accessories, then you're going to look cute. So that's how boyfriend jeans are. And you gotta roll up the bottom with your cute shoes. That's the trend. And then a moto jacket. I've got one here I can show you. Oh wait, that's what I was wearing before. Moto jacket. Okay, really gives a different feel, but makes a big difference from the foundation to the accent item. And I think the last thing on here is plaid. Plaid's really on trend for the season, so you could bring plaid in with a, a plaid scarf or um, grab a flannel from your husband and wear, the, wear it open like a jacket. So it could be your accent item that way. So that's the top 10 trends for fall 2016. We'll pass those around. 
Ooh. And now let me show you the difference when you add back in.